the makeup here? What what are we doing? The Botox. I mean, I think if I'm not mistaken, this man is like a couple years older than me. He might be the same age as me. I'm honestly not sure. But um he's not looking too healthy. It looks it looks really bad. More on Matt Gates in a moment. We're not going to watch his speech because it's the usual Republican dribble that you would expect. There is more from Matt Gates, but I I just want to go through a couple of uh, interesting moments from the RNC convention. I don't want to call them lowlights. I don't want to call them highlights. They just piqued my interest a little bit. So we have uh, this right here on CNN. You have uh, <laughs> this person. <laughs> and uh, just watch. Campaign new and win because I... Okay, I gotta, I gotta mute that because that's copyrighted content. But he has a shirt saying, where is the Jeffrey Epstein client list? Now... This might be a bit of a reach. I don't know for sure, but he's wearing a cowboy hat. That to me tells me he probably leans Republican. Um, and you're at the RNC convention. So asking this question, remember, that- if you're a Trump supporter, which I'm assuming he is, is a little bit ironic because, you know, Donald Trump is one of the clients of Jeffrey Epstein. They're longtime friends. To be fair, I don't know. This could be a Democrat that maybe is like, He's putting on a cowboy hat to infiltrate the RNC in the same way that Dead Domain has done before, right? Nonetheless, still very funny to see this on CNN. We also have this highlight from uh, DeSantis, emphasis on the highlight. They can't even define what a woman is. I love love that his voice cracked at that moment when he's attacking trans people. They can't even define what a woman is. They can't even define what a woman is. He tried to play it cool, but he's dying inside. He's dying inside. If that happened to me during a speech, oh my God, I would be mortified. They can't even define what a woman is. (laughs) I can't get enough of it. Okay, so there's this, there's this video here. Um, so, uh, you know, he's saying, Jim Justice, uh, governor of West Virginia, is saying we become totally unhinged if Donald Trump is not elected in November. Um, but the clip itself is, is just so bizarre. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press play here. Bottom line to every single thing that's going on in this great country today is one thing. We become totally unhinged if Donald Trump is not elected in November. Wait for it. I want to bottom line. (laughs) I just, I need more context. First of all, we already expect you all to be totally unhinged. That sounded more gay than Southern. It sounded like Lindsey Graham. But either way, we expect you all to be unhinged as fuck if Donald Trump loses. Um, so I don't, uh, saying that is, is redundant, but I just love how there's just, there's a doggy right here. Um, and, and after he says that batshit insane thing, you know, they pan out to the doggy. Okay. Adorable doggy, but I have some thoughts. First and foremost, please keep this beautiful doggy away from Christy Gnome. Uh, she is at this event. Keep the dog away from Gnome. Second of all, um, this is a big boy um you need to get them on a diet it's very unhealthy for dogs to be overweight like that you know i have a brachycephalic dog as well uh you know the squished face dogs um and you have to monitor their diets so if this is your dog jim you need to put them on a diet that's so unhealthy so please please do that for me uh adorable though love that they were at the event um yeah yeah interesting clip okay So there's this moment. I feel like no other candidate besides DeSantis has embarrassed themselves more than Tim Scott. And he's done this multiple times. Like he he posted this weird picture of him at McDonald's and his head looked like it was nine times bigger than his body. He was on NBC and he wouldn't say whether or not he would certify the election or accept the results of the election if Donald Trump lost. And I, I just feel like he's so socially awkward. He doesn't know how to act like a human being. Um, case in point. The devil came to Pennsylvania holding a rifle, but an American lion got back up on his feet and he roared! 
The devil came. I feel like he thinks that this is going to make him more endearing, but he just comes off as a as a weirdo, like a socially awkward weirdo. Um, and he is a weirdo. He has shit policies. He's a shit person. And I feel like it's just really weird. You could have got the point across that you're really excited that Trump is back without doing the roar. I, I just feel like that's you got to rein it in, man. You've got you've got to things that you think sound cool in your head don't always sound cool when you say them out loud. So just practice next time. OK, but moving on. So apparently this is a trend. Um, I don't know how big of a trend this is, but you have this absolute fucking dipshit showing up to the RNC with something taped to his ear, I guess, in a showing of of solidarity with Donald Trump. Look at this fucking goober. Look at his face. Biden and Baldwin have... He sees that he's, like, on camera, and then he just, like, he makes the doofiest fucking smile I've ever seen. We're Biden and Baldwin... It's weird. Now, um, Ed O'Keefe of CBS actually, uh, he talked to this guy. um, And we're just going to watch a little bit of this here. Not a very long clip. We're tracking all sorts of things, among other things, the fashion of the delegates. And I want to point out uh, the latest trend that we spotted. This is Joe Neglia from Tempe, Arizona. Arizona. This is your first convention. Uh, Well, the first one I attended, I was elected in 2022, but that one was canceled because of COVID. And I noticed what you're wearing on your right ear. This is the newest fashion trend. I'm getting this going. Everybody in the world is going to be wearing these pretty soon. It's the latest thing. My wife calls me, tells me I dress like an engineer, but I'm setting new fashion ground here. This dude looks like he would find mayo spicy. I just cannot handle it. Um, I'm actually dressed, my wife tells me I dress like an engineer, huh? But, you know, I'm going to start a new fashion trend. Shut the fuck up. These are like, this is your average Republican, right? Maybe more, maybe not necessarily average, not a normie per se, because he's at the RNC convention. So you've got to be dedicated, but God damn. So, and you just made this in your hotel room today with an envelope or what? No, I folded it up on the way, on the bus, on the way here. Joe, And then they've got this too. You're all so fucking lame. I mean, you're so fucking lame. Getting back to Matt Gates, So he made quite the splash because he decided to needlessly harass Kevin McCarthy. And listen, I despise Kevin McCarthy, but leave it to Matt Gates to be such a prick that you almost feel sympathy for Kevin McCarthy. Let me show you what I mean by this. If you haven't seen this already. Speaking. What night are you speaking? Are you speaking tonight? Or... So he's giving an interview to CNN. This is the actual interview he's on. So this is from a different POV and he's going up to him and harassing him during this interview. Hey, you're not, if you took that stage, you would get booed off of it. You would get booed off the stage. Now, this dude right here is confronting him, which we have the video of that as well, which we'll watch. But um, let's watch it from the angle of Kevin McCarthy because you can actually tell it does rattle him. He loses his train of thought but tries to play it off. But you see Gates come into the frame a little bit here. But what you're seeing here, a more united Republican Party. Think back eight years ago. Ted. As he's talking about unity, Matt Gates comes up and harasses him. God, they're all, they're all actors. This is all theater. Cruz wouldn't endorse. Senator Lee was saying no to President Trump. Now you've got Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis. You're watching a united party like we haven't been in the past. Hey, Kevin, One who's not coming speak? back, and then and then the other are part you that you have, or, and the other part you have is one person who raised no. the issue. He's got an ethics complaint about paying, hey, sleeping with a 17-year-old. That stage, so that's the way they would go. Off, so th- that's that's the biggest the challenge stage. we have. Ooh, voice cracking. Not as bad as DeSantis, but you can tell he was a little bit rattled. I mean, what do you do? You're on live television and somebody's in your ear talking shit. I feel like that'd be that'd be so uncomfortable. It'd be hard to play it off. Now, here's the uh, here's the conversation that the other guy had uh, with him who confronted him. I don't know who the other guy is, but let's watch. You would get booed off the stage. Shut up, kids. Hey, 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 don't be an asshole. Dude, I don't, I don't even know who you are, but it doesn't fucking matter. You would get... Yeah. So, I mean, they got up in each other's face. I wish that they filmed it like a normal person and just went like this. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Um, now... 
<laughs> I don't know. Uh, so they, they debuted this song. I don't know if this was actually played at the convention. But for those who don't know, Amber Heard was there. She gave a speech. And there was a little bit of backlash to that. Individuals like Matt Walsh were pissed off because she's the individual who organized the slut walk. So she's a feminist. So, you know, he feels like she's not necessarily welcome. She showed up and she's like, everybody's welcome. Uh, It doesn't matter if you're black, white, gay, straight, which is just like objectively not true because there's a bunch of Republicans who are pissed off that you're there. But apparently she was in a music video with Forgiato Blow, which is the MAGA grifter. This is a uh, trust fund baby, I believe. And he makes the worst fucking music ever. It's a middle-aged guy clearly going through a midlife crisis. And I think that he thinks he has talent, but he doesn't. And the only reason why people listen to him is because he's a rapper who likes Donald Trump. And his songs are about Donald Trump. You take that away. And if he's just making regular music, nobody cares. But since Donald Trump supporters are sycophants, they gobble up any pro-Trump shit. Listen to a little bit of this. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be copyright claimed, but they're doing the Vanilla Ice song. Um, I guess she's rapping with him. Put America first. We the big. We the big. FJB, 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 FJB. Let's go, Brandon. Sing We voting Donald Trump, baby. This is so fucking corny. Oh, this is cringeworthy. My God. Like nine times out of ten, any political song that you do for a political campaign, it's going to be cringeworthy. There's going to be a degree of cringe to it. Even the Bernie songs back from 2016, um, you might have loved them, but we all have to admit they were they were cringeworthy, right? But he just takes it over the top, has no self-awareness, thinks he's the shit, but he, it's so – oh, my God. It's so – bad and like if he were maybe 10 years younger 20 years younger i would think okay he's gonna regret this one day but the dude's like 45 and he's still doing this no talent whatsoever but i mean look if if you genuinely want to be a musician and you have no talent this is the way to do it like hey for those of you who are at home if you want to be a singer but you can't sing just make a song about donald trump and put it on itunes and like tweet at conservatives with it and you'll you'll make quick cash now, this is part of the reason why conservatives don't like Amber Rose. Not. No, I'm a fool. I'm an atheist for sure. Not a Satanist. I'm not a Satanist. No. And there is a distinction. Satanists are just, uh, they're atheists as well, but they're just more political. Okay. They're, they they have like a, polit- it's actually a, a very rational, logical religion. They they help a lot of people, a lot, um, to a lot of women to get abortions. Not. No, I'm a fool. I'm an yeah. atheist. And that's absolutely true. But, like, there's more that came out of the RNC. I just wanted to share a couple of things that stood out to me. Uh, Not as unhinged as previous years, but nonetheless, no lack of stupidity, obviously. But I feel like that goes without saying. (laughs) 